Hi and welcome to Watch the Time. I know this isn't a, a watch related video. I'm wearing the, uh, the Casio Jelly at the moment. Uh, but this is an update on the Consendo Evolution. Now, I put a pretty scathing video of this, uh, this plane on uh, as a review because I'd seen a lot of reviews that really praised it and they, they, it just contained lies to be honest and I will demonstrate a couple of them but I've had a couple more issues with this and uh, it's just I'm sorry but if this was still marketed as a three cell lukewarm glider for your average pilot absolutely fine when they decided to say that this was a four cell hot liner or warm liner or whatever you want to call it 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 really wasn't all they did was make it so you could put a four cell battery in it it, it didn't strengthen anything else now i've i'll do a quick run through all the issues that i had the the control rods the inners were moving as well as the outers because they were too stiff um, and they were actually stuck inside, so I had to sort that out. I had issues with the rudder servo twitching. Um, the aileron servos weren't actually um, sort of glued in properly. They just had this like silicon sealant on there, which didn't really hold them in place. Uh, so it was always seemed to be out of trim. The elevator just wasn't powerful enough. If you pull, if you tried to pull out of a dive, it took ages, and it would need to slow down before it pulled out. So it'd come down, and then all of a sudden, snap on you. Um, there was, you know, lots of issues. The the prop that come with it was rubbish. Um, and <laughs> so what's happened now is this is a obviously all plastic, and in flight it's given way and it's it's thrown the propeller when it threw the propeller it's also wrecked the motor it's it's ruined the motor now so that's gone as well so i've now lost the spinner and the motor and if you look at just this little three cell uh, you know floaty uh, soaring glider here you'll notice that these bars across here are metal and that's just a three cell setup this is plastic it's not suitable for 4s and that was using you know a decent cam balanced carbon prop as well not some out of balance rubbish thing before anyone says another problem that i've encountered as well again bearing in mind this is a 4s compatible plane the only thing holding the battery in is this <laughs> and it's it's basically a little tray that sits in there so the battery goes through in there there's four spikes which go into foam now when you push spikes into foam they make the holes but there's no grippiness so it just pulls out and you can see here there's four little blobs of this what looks like bath sealant which doesn't actually stick properly to the foam so during a flight I was doing something uh, actually it was when this happened the uh, that the whole battery just jumped out it hit the canopy knocked that out the battery jumped out and was dangling along the side but that that's all that's holding your 4s 2200 lipo in it's just you know this just where does it you know how many things do i do you have to be shown to be told that this this is not a 4s hotliner i mean just to make it more stable i mean i've put I've carbon reinforced the wing because it was flexing so much i tried everything and there's people on youtube that have said oh look how stiff it is look how stiff it is are you having a laugh look how stiff it is look at that i mean i'm just going to use two fingers hold the towel plane and just pull very gently on that very gently look at that bending So in comparison, let's have a look at this. It's not really bending the towel, it's just pulling. I don't want to break that off, it's just bending that around. But I can put a lot of, a lot of pressure on this and it doesn't really bend. I mean, that's, that's just nice and stiff. That's how it should be. That's how it should be. Reinforced, look at it. This, this is a hot liner, seriously. I mean, you imagine that bending this way as well when you're when you're trying to come out of a, a oh there you go look at that we've we've managed to break it well done yeah brilliant lovely I don't care about that one, by the way 
I'm taking all my gear out of this, the servos are coming out um, and then it's going to get scrapped or I'll probably just give it to someone just to set up as a little sort of three cell glider so I'll repair that but uh, I was just going to absolutely trash it but I won't, I'll give it away to someone um, to use but I'm taking all my gear out so there's no value left in it um, I'm going to get my receiver out of it and all that and yeah so there you go if you want to buy one buy one I don't care um, as some people have suggested that I'm paid by FMS which is hysterical but yeah if you want to buy one buy one I say I got it flying half decent after all the modifications changing all the servos changing the the prop uh, stiffening up the um, the wing uh, sorting out all the uh, control rods you know I got it flying reasonably well but even as a, a sort of a warm liner the, the issue is it, it had it had no inertia so once you've gone down and done a one fast pass there wasn't any inertia left to do anything you could turn and land but that was it um, as a glider it doesn't really soar very well um, I mean it's, it's probably you know half the weight again or something like this and uh, it basically didn't glide as well as something like that uh, it did glide but like these people are saying it glides all day um, it doesn't with 4S in it's just too heavy the wing loading's too high for it to glide particularly well on a 3S it was a lot better I found a 3S 1300 and it glided reasonably well but not great still not as good as that um, so you know but as a 3S 2200 setup fly it more like a plane than a glider it's okay it's fine but then look at the price of it it's quite an expensive plane so as I say I, I you know I don't care whether people buy them or not but um, I certainly don't recommend it um, you know I've got a see even if I give this to someone I've got to swap a motor out I've got to put a, you know and find another motor and put in there which I will do and I'm not even sure yet if while well, when it burnt the when this burnt the motor out whether it's on the ESC as well so for all I know it's all gone uh, I haven't even tested it yet I was just so disgusted with it in the end that I was just like do you know what I'm just going to bin it and take all my gear out and bin it but I will um I will just give it away to someone that wants to mess around with it and perhaps get it going. But there you go. So that's my final thoughts on the Consciendo Evolution. Basically, 100% regret ever buying the bloody thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers, bye.